Hello. In this video, we are going to see how to use Codesys motion control library. And this motion control library is called SM3 Basic. There might be some noise coming inside this video tutorial as I am actually sitting in the middle of a production floor in a factory. So sorry about that. So let's get started. I'm going to fall new project standard project and I will put it as test SM3 basic let's put it in the right place so you can find it usually the codices folder is created inside the your my documents folder always remember to make a new folder for each of your projects and I prefer to keep the name of the folder is the same as the name of the project so test SM3 basic okay and standard project and okay and what program what language we are going to use we are going to structure text alright that's fine first thing we need to do is to create a function block so let's go to the application add object POU I will name it just as POU1 we are using structure text and this is a function block add we need to call this function block to our main program so let's call it call POU1 call the instance POU underscore 1 so we are calling this function block here and inside this POU we will do all our programs uh, did I do it wrong way yeah sorry I did it the wrong way so I need to actually take this off control X go to program yep and then here control X control V okay so we are ready and now we need to install the motion control library of uh, codices so let's select this right click update device in this case I would like to use Windows 64 soft PLC for Windows with non real-time capabilities or we can choose with real-time capabilities I don't know what is really the difference in this case because we are just simulating so let's select one of them and update device okay as soon as we updated the device we will see the soft motion general access pool this appeared here let's see what happens if we create a visualization node in our project add object visualization select this button keep the name as same add okay so take some time to populate okay so we have the library here SM3 basic and library manager we also have the SM3 basic library here in case you don't have it always go add library search for SM3 underscore basic and then you will see click and then add the library okay and to make this uh, video short and precise I have already made the structured text program so only thing we need to do is create first an axis add device as a virtual drive and name it as x1 and we have the axis which is named as x1 here and in this SM3 library visualization we have some drives rotor drive, linear drive, vertical, linear drive, horizontal we can choose this one and just remember we just defined an axis and we will select the same one which is actually this one assign this to this visualization tool okay starts to jump here and there doesn't matter we can take it and put it place it here okay and let's go to my function block POU1 
as I said I have already written the program before so I will copy this and paste it here and copy this part and paste it here to give a short uh, introduction of what is happening here we can see the case structure which is state machine in this first state it turns the power on as you can see this is actually an instance of MC power and this is actually an instance of MC move relative so what this MC power does and what this MC move relative does to know is very easy right click you can go advanced sorry browse go to definition and you go to library manager and you can see what this does MC power designed for controlling power stretch MC move relative control motion of a specified distance related to the position at the time of execution this is what this function block does we have the program here the POE here all is set and our visualization is set so what we can do we can save our project and down just remember to do one thing before we go don't forget to put the simulation on otherwise nothing will work let's download this to your virtual PLC so we don't have any errors seems like we are good to go I would like to see the POU and especially this one if something happens most of the time what happens there is some kind of error in this function blocks so you need to fix the bugs when your programs get bigger and bigger you might need to see these ones what's going on why it's stuck in one state so at this moment I think this is going to run smooth because it's very fairly simple program so I press what it does when I turn on it will after one second it will turn the machine power on and then will start moving the axis which is you can see here okay so it is moving with the velocity 50 and acceleration 100 deceleration 100 okay I uh, hope this helps and you can extend this program and uh, put your own logic or your own requirements to make uh, whatever you are intending to do Alright, thanks for watching this video.